For the first time in three months, Nagorny Karabakh is receiving aid through the Azerbaijani Agdam route, while Azerbaijan continues to block the leaching corridor connecting the region to Armenia. Tensions between Armenia and Azerbaijan are escalating as the blockade of the Lakin Road continues. Azerbaijan's chief foreign policy advisor, Hikmet Hachiev, emphasizes that the delivery of aid doesn't meet the conditions for opening the Lakin Road calling for international pressure on Armenia. Following the resignation of Iraq Haratinan, Samuel Sharamanian becomes the new de facto president of Nagorno-Karabakh. This move is condemned by many countries but noted by the European Union. On the 12th of September, Russian Red Cross truck delivered humanitarian aid to Nagorno-Karabakh from the Azerbaijani city of Agdam. This was the first shipment of goods to the region in nearly three months since Azerbaijan blocked all traffic on the Lekin Corridor, the only road connecting the Armenian populated region to the Republic of Armenia. This was also the first use in roughly three decades of the road connecting Agdam to the de facto capital of Karabakh, Stepanakert. Since July, Baku has insisted that supplies to Nagorno-Karabakh be carried out from the Azerbaijani side. This proposal was welcomed by the European Union, which acts as a mediator in Armenian-Azerbaijani peace talks but vehemently rejected by the Armenians of Karabakh, who saw it as legitimizing Azerbaijani rule. Nine months after the start of the blockade of the Lekin Corridor, the new government came to power in Karabakh and Azerbaijan allowed the delivery of humanitarian goods to the separated region. However, as tensions between Azerbaijan and Armenia continue to escalate, peace is far from guaranteed. On the 9th of September, Azerbaijan announced that he had agreed to reopen the Lakin Corridor, the only highway connecting Armenia to the separated region of Nagorno-Karabakh, internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan but home to an ethnic Armenian majority. The authorities in Karabakh in Stepanakert also agreed to accept aid from the road from Agdam in Azerbaijan. On the 12th of September, Russian Red Cross truck delivered humanitarian aid, including food, blankets, hygiene items, and child care supplies to Karabakh from Agdam. This was the first shipment of goods to the region in approximately three months and the first use of this road in three decades. However, despite the agreement, Azerbaijan has still not allowed any of the dozens of Armenian and French trucks carrying humanitarian aid to pass through its checkpoint in the Lacking Corridor. Mirzayan also stated that new proposals from Azerbaijan were received by Yerevan on the 12th of September in response to Armenia's previous peace plan. The leaders of the two countries plan to meet in October at the third summit of the European political community in Spain. Until then, peace will be more fragile than ever. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video to stay informed about the most interesting and popular news as one of the first viewers. Your subscription is necessary for further viewing of our videos on this channel.